what's up you guys time is back with another intense video today we have a fragrance from mason alhambra but before we get into that just want to say thank you guys again it is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices whether it's that cell phone the tablet that laptop that macintosh that brand new big train tv whether you watch me at home at work on a plane a train or an automobile maybe you're watching me right now in the doctor's office with some crazy flu cold uh, allergies or whatever man this weather is crazy it's messing with the allergies messing with the sinuses so if you are in there get some medicine get some rest get those fluids in you and uh take care but however and wherever you're watching me it is an honor you guys are new to this channel you like what you see hit the subscribe button comment and like likes are very very important now before we get into this fragrance i'm going to show you a couple stores that i personally shop with give you a couple discount codes as well so go use them up use them up now mason alhambra again Latafa's kind of sub brand, if you will. Now, can't lie, there are a lot of pretty good Mason Alhambras. Eventually, we'll do a uh, you know top ten Mason Alhambra video. But uh, you know, if you guys recall the signature number one and signature number two, the small little bottles. We're gonna do signature number three and then signature number four eventually down the line. Now, the bottles, the presentation is all good. I got that right in front of you. Now, they've been sitting pretty much on the shelf. Now, when I did get these, okay, uh, because I wanted to try something out, you know, because a lot of people are saying sometimes with the fragrance, you got to spray it, let that air get in there, or whatever, something go on and get it macerate and do this, do that. So, this thing has been sprayed before, right? Okay. Now, I forget what it smells like. Now, I say I forget what it smells like, but I seen some notes and it looks like it's pineapple -y, maybe um, gourmandy, if you will. So uh, we'll go with that. But it's been a while since I sprayed this. So if you see me spray it on right away and you're like, oh my God, it's, it's it's been used. Yes, it's probably been used, but not on me. I have not given this an actual wearing, nor have I actually given this a first impression. It was more just like a spray and let it just sit. So that's what happened. So signature number three, you guys already know signature number one is kind of um, the uh, oud, oud, woody, animalic. Uh, two would be like your tobacco sweet. Uh, kind of dry tobacco with some vanilla, but it's still kind of sweet, a little spicy. And signature three here, signature number three. And the bottle looks just like the rest of them. I actually quite enjoy the look of these bottles, okay? Now, one guy was like, man, all that bottle for that little bit of fragrance. But I kind of like the way that bottle looks. It's kind of cool, okay? It kind of looks like one of those cool coffee cups or uh, booze cups that you got that's like, you know, got that thick glass and only this much is full with the alcohol. So it looks kind of cool like that. But the cool thing about this too is if you were to drop this on this part of this glass and it were to break, you probably be good. Probably when there's no juice, unlike some of those designer fragrances you drop and boom it's all gone i've seen plenty of horror stories on that on super duper expensive fragrances you drop it accidentally and you don't even have to drop them from a tall height the most expensive fragrance i've ever had was probably a valentino born in roma fragrance and i literally dropped it maybe a foot on another bottle and it broke and that was all that so you know you know this is a good thing with these bottles and the price you know if you break this no big deal, $40, okay. You know, you break something that's $120, big deal. But uh, here we go. Signature number three, let's see what it's all about. Again, from what I've seen, it's pineapple, the prelude, maybe some some caramel, who knows? But uh, we shall see what it's all about, okay? Nothing over here, okay? So we go over here, okay? Like the color of the juice is very nice too, though. Like this almost kind of brandy cognac uh, look. So here we go. wide sprayer so i'm definitely getting that pineapple now it's not it's definitely a noticeable pineapple okay so, but it's it's not like that super succulent sweet pineapple like you get there is a sweetness coming back from it but again this isn't like how i think it, what is it the, the, the rave now like that is like super juicy sweet pineapple okay this one is more of like a fresh close to you know to the point where it's super ripe and super ready to be cut this is like that there's a freshness to this guy okay? so fresh pineapple getting some sweet in the air again that it's not that sweet like the natural sweet that you get from the pineapple it's more like an added sweet so if there is 
you know, praline caramel, whatever is in here, that's probably what it's coming from. Okay, now, good thing is in the air, it doesn't come off overly sweet though. So I'm, I'm kind of digging that. I don't like overly sweet fragrances. It doesn't matter even if I'm outdoors. You know, obviously they do have a nice little scent bubble, but uh, man, like when you get close, sometimes uh, when they're too sweet, they become a little nauseating, a little headache inducing, if you will. So I get more of the pineapple in the air that, uh, again, the fresh pineapple. When you get closer, it, it's more of a, a fresher smell, fresh smell. A slight little bit of sweetness in the background. Maybe some kind of green note in here. You know, pineapple smells lovely, okay? Pineapple, pineapple, pineapple is a very good note in fragrance because it's it's one of those fragrance uh, notes that is quite uh, noticeable. When when there is a fragrance that says they got pineapple, it's, it's definitely a noticeable note in all the fragrance. The problem with pineapple, in my opinion, though, is it's, no, get me wrong, I'll wear them. I will around wear them, and they will probably get compliments because most of your most complimented fragrances have pineapple or some kind of note similar to pineapple in it. So they will get compliments. It's I'm not just the, I'm just not the biggest fan of pineapple fragrances. Obviously, as much as I raved about rave smelling so juicy like pineapple, didn't really wear it. As much as Zara's Bogos. Uh, the blue bottle smelled like super juicy pineapple. Didn't really wear it that much. Okay, so it, it's not a, you know, a, a thing where it's like, I don't like the smell of pineapple. I really do. But it's just like on me. Again, it doesn't. It it almost doesn't come off. Colony, colony, if you will, not colony, colony, if you will. Okay, again, when you smell a cologne on someone, you want it to be like, man, we're I, I don't want to smell pineapple on someone, you know, because then it's like you, you kind of come off smelling like you could be chewing on now later. You can be uh, chewing on some bubble gum that smells like pineapple. You could have that cheap body lotion that has pineapple in it, the pineapple note. But when you smell it in the air and on people, it's like you don't know if that's cologne or what that could be. And that's why sometimes with some of these fragrances, you know, you want a fragrance that just reminds you of regular cologne. You, you just smell like your pops. Maybe you just smell like, you know, Aqua de Jo, something like that. Perfumos, the cool waters like that. Those smell like cologne. You smell it, it's like, ooh, man, that, that, that's no doubt. It's a cologne, okay? But this, again, on skin and in there, pineapple is very nice, kind of sweet. Again, it's not sweet like it's uh, like a super sweet pineapple. It's more of a uh, close to being uh, to the point where it's you know it's that where it's kind of hard a little bit you get that freshness okay again slight sweetness sweetness probably coming from if there is some kind of uh, gourmandi note now it's not overly sweet so that's a good thing on this fragrance it's very kind of green and fresh as well I like it I like the way it smells, but again, it's probably a cologne that's going to be more likely just sitting there and getting that kind of, you know, more maceration, that, that look, that spot in the collection that just takes up some room, like some of these other fragrances. These fragrances, I've, I, don't, I can't even tell you when the last time I sprayed it. Honestly, it's like it's come into the room, spray something just to say you sprayed it uh, to that point, but... Can I lie? I think a lot of people will enjoy this fragrance. If you like pineapple fragrances, you like the kind of sweetness, the, the 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 juiciness that you get from that pineapple. Is that if that's your thing that you like to wear? Obviously, I understand these are the, the, the notes are gonna you know move into the heart notes and the greens and the woods and stuff. That's definitely gonna creep through. But again, honestly, the, the, when you get most of your compliments or when you realize how much of uh, the cologne you like. It's most likely from that first 
10 to 15 minutes. Yes, there are fragrances out there where you're like, oh my God, it stinks. And then later on it gets better. But I feel like the opening is the key to any fragrance if you're going to like it or, or not. Because even when I get colognes that, that you know, 20 minutes later, they smell better. It's, it, it already kind of distracted me at the, at the in the beginning. It kind of kind of pushed me away. And, you know, therefore, when it finally did get good, it was like, okay, okay, no big deal, whatever. But here is a fragrance again. It smells very, very good. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just not the huge pineapple guy, okay? I don't need a pineapple fragrance. Um, we got plenty of others down there. Again, uh, Ventus clones, this clone, they all got that pineapple-y smell, okay? Uh, babe, can you smell it? Really? That far? Well, she could smell it far, and she's probably a good, uh, you know, 15, 20 feet, perhaps. Now, obviously, this is indoors, but uh, you can picture that if I was outdoors and had a nice little breeze that uh, the people around me would be smelling it as well so you could obviously wear this into work okay this is a safe scent it's not gonna uh, you know I don't think it's gonna hurt anybody's feelings I think everyone will be pretty satisfied if you came in there smelling like that no offensiveness in this fragrance at all you could wear this after the gym you can wear this lounge around the house you can wear this on a nice little date little playful date uh, but other than that, that's just, that's only the spots where I'd wear it. And obviously in warmer weather, but again, if you can control the the climate or temperature wherever you're going, you can rock this bad boy year round. Because again, you control the temperature. So, you know, if it's, you know, 100 degrees outside, but you're going into a place that's 70, 60, now you're pretty much going from summer to fall. Okay, so there you go. That is signature number three. Again, pineapple sweet kind of green fresh and uh hey not more more than that okay now uh i'm definitely gonna get up out of here gonna go drink some tea gonna drink some uh fluids the allergies are it's definitely creeping up that itch in the nose that the tickle in the uh the nose area almost like when you you know when you get a little bit of water in your nose that's how it kind of feels that pressure that you get there that that stingy feel kind of so I'm going to get up out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed signature number three. I'm going to get up out of here. Peace out. Said that before. Who cares? I'm getting out.